Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. So what do I have going on for today? Today I am bringing to you another bleak to chic transformation of an item that the Dollar Tree carries. In this instance, this item isn't completely bleak, it's more on the glam side, but it isn't an item that suits everybody's decor needs. This is an item that I wouldn't be able to use unless I put a little DIYing behind it. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I transform Dollar Tree's silver plastic napkin rings into something so shabby chic, I can hardly stand it. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind for these silver plastic napkin rings that the Dollar Tree is now carrying. Wait till you see this transformation. You are going to love it. For this bleak to chic DIY, I picked up a six pack of these silver plastic napkin rings from the Dollar Tree, a pack of these brown glass beads, some twine. I'll also be using this craft cord, which is a thicker twine. It comes in one pound and boy oh boy does it go a long way. And I'll also be using some of these buttons that I picked up from Michaels in their dollar bin. I'm going to start off by taking the thicker jute cord and my napkin rings and I'm going to wrap the outside of these napkin rings with this jute cord. If you want to use the thinner twine from the Dollar Tree, go for it. I personally just like the look of this thicker cord and it goes a bit faster. I'm just going to use my regular hot glue to adhere this onto the outside of these napkin rings. You can see that on each end of the napkin rings that the silver is still exposed. So I'm going to take my jute cord and I'm going to wrap it around the top edge here of this napkin ring covering up the silver. Leaving my napkin ring looking like this, completely covered. You can't even tell other than the inside of this that it's silver. So I'm going to make sure and do this to both sides. Once I've got my napkin ring completely covered with the jute cord, I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to put three dots of glue spacing the glue dots out evenly. And I'm going to do three dots at a time only so the glue doesn't dry quick. And taking my tweezers, I'm going to place a bead in each of those glue dots. I'm going to alternate the colors of beads just to kind of add a little bit of character to this. Once I've got my three beads set in the hot glue, I'm going to do three more until I've gone all the way around the outside of my napkin ring. And I'm gonna do this to both ends of this napkin ring. Leaving my napkin rings looking like this. These beads add such a subtle touch of elegance to these. So stinking beautiful. If you're worried about gluing the beads on and worried about them falling off, an alternative is to sew the beads on using just a regular needle and matching thread. I wasn't real worried about it. I did sew the beads on to one of my napkin rings and it took me about a half hour to 45 minutes to sew them on to both sides, which was a bit time consuming. So I decided to try and hot glue them on. I'm not worried about them falling off because these napkin rings aren't something that I'm gonna be washing or handling quite often. They really are just for decor purposes only. So I decided just to move the napkin rings along a bit quicker and get them done that hot glue was definitely the way to go. A great alternative to using the silver plastic napkin ring holders that I got from the Dollar Tree is to use an empty toilet paper roll or paper towel roll. And with the thinner twine that I got from the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna make a twine flower and I'm gonna make a miniature one. So for this flower, I will be using only two fingers for the size of this flower. And by simply wrapping the twine around my two fingers as many times as you want, it all depends on how thick you want your flower to be. Once you've gotten your thickness, go ahead and cut your twine. Then I'm gonna take another piece of twine and I'm gonna tie it around the middle of what I just wrapped around my fingers. I'm gonna do this two times.
Once you've got your two bunches all tied off, I'm gonna take and separate the loops, spreading them out, opening up my flower. And using a dab of hot glue in the center of my bundle, I'm gonna place some hot glue right there and just place it right on top of the other bundle, giving us a twine flower. And I think I'll add a brown button to the center of my flower just to finish this flower off a bit. And again, with a dab of hot glue, I'm gonna place this twine flower on my napkin ring, finishing off my napkin ring. And would you look at that? We just went from bleak to farmhouse shabby chic. Isn't this so stinking beautiful? And there you have a set of custom napkin rings. Napkin rings that you typically might have passed up because the silver plastic rings didn't suit your decor, but with a little DIYing, you took them from bleak to farmhouse shabby chic, something that is definitely a piece that will leave people talking about them. Today's shout outs going out to Melanie S. Kathy Johnson, Marguerite Webb, Kim over at Creative Crafticality, Darlene Hopper, Angelica Johnson, and Connie McDermott. And there you have it. These napkin rings turned out amazing. They are so rustic and farmhouse. Like I always say, I can hardly stand it. I love the outcome and it's so budget friendly. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2000 likes because those thumbs up really do help my channel to grow a bit more and it helps for YouTube to notice me just a bit more as well. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.